ETA. Who doesn't know these initials in Europe, especially in France? They mean assassinations, bombs, executions. The cause that the separatist Basque organization defends is more obscure. Since its creation in 1959, the ETA has declared a dozen truces, lasting from several days to several months. The last to date, March 23, 2006, announced a permanent ceasefire. It's not the first time the ETA announced a ceasefire, though they haven't killed in three years, but have claimed responsibility for approximately 50 explosions. The government of José Luis Zapatero, convinced that the ETA can no longer kill without risking the loss of all popular support, has opened a dialogue with the organization. Nine months later, on December 30, 2006, the ETA bombed a Madrid airport parking lot and killed two innocent victims. The dialogue is broken, and with it the hope to end the violence that has plagued Basque society for nearly 40 years. In Basque country at the moment, there is one half of the society that is nationalist and the other that isn't. Relations between these two worlds are not always easy. Some speak Spanish, others Basque. Even there, the visions and values about what the Basque future should be varies. Consequently, it will not be easy to construct a homogenous society, one adapted to 21st century problems. But if the wall of silence which constitutes the ETA and the terrorism disappears, one can imagine a more promising future.